Hey everybody, welcome to Jen Lowry Writes. Tonight we are having a virtual paint party in honor of Sweet Potato Jones. We are celebrating and I just wanted to share my screen really fast and I wanted to show you guys kind of like what I'm going to be drawing tonight and how I'm even using Canva.com to help me with my designs. So thank you guys for joining me tonight. I went yesterday and did a run to Michael's and went through their paints. And some of the paints were actually like $10 and $11 a color. I was like, oh, um, no. What did I tell you, 79 cent color? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I grabbed the 79 cent colors. Um, I am not Bob Ross. I have never claimed to be an artist. I just love having fun painting. And now I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you guys where my inspiration came from. So this is one of the backdrops. Now it doesn't have the star. I added the star, but this is one of the backdrops that I've been using a lot when I am promoting my book and making the images to go on. For example, the thumbnail that I used for tonight, um, I put quotes up from this book uh, on there. So you will have probably seen this out on my Instagram or my Facebook. And I just love the background. And it reminds me of a scene in the book. And she's first at the beginning of the book. They are in a shed out in the middle of nowhere behind a home. And that is their backdrop. And she has to leave the country when they make their next traveling um, on the road trip and they go to Newport News, Virginia. But before they move, she's out in the country and they're playing in the woods and she has to keep the kids entertained. So she tells them Tinkerbell stories and Peter Pan and um, and she's windy. And so this just reminds me of that scene. And she truly misses the trees. And there's a kissing trees part even later in the book. Because she's just meant for the country life. And so I wanted to honor Sweet Potato's story in that way by picking something that would be meaningful to her as a character. Then I went on YouTube and I was actually looking up virtual paint parties and watching artists actually create um, beautiful images. And I really liked how they did the purple and the blue swirls. So I'm going to try to do that so it can um, pull off some of my book cover images. And I also liked how they did the moon in this one. So I actually have a couple of YouTube videos that I'm going to have up and I'm going to be going back and forth and looking at them as I am painting. So, hey guys, oh look who's here. I've got Anne and Tish. So guys, you see, I've got my paint ready and I said 79 cent paint and paper plate. <laughs> and I really try to match the colors up from the book cover. And I did this one in a watercolor just to play around with morning glories because that's another scene in the book that um, is like a turning point for Sweet Potato and honoring her name. But for um, the paint party, I was like, let's do a nighttime scene. So that's what we're up to tonight. So I'm so glad you ladies are here with me tonight. And... I think I'm going to start off. Of course, I did not even open my paint before the party. I think I would like set it all up. The table is like, I don't have to see the table that way. I'm just going to open up the old fashioned way. So yeah, I was actually watching YouTube videos yesterday and watching how the artists were calling out all of these fancy 
titles of paint, and I wrote them down in my notes on my phone. And when I went to Michael's, the 79 cent paint, uh, oh no, Ann, you got to send me pictures right now of your paintings that you did. And I can share them on my screen. Put, send them to me on Facebook. Tell me when you send them. I can share them up so everybody can see how talented and wonderful you are. So the 79 cent paint definitely was not all of these um, fancy titles that the artists were using. And then we went in an aisle over, and that's when it was like the expensive paints. And then, of course, there it was. And as soon as Solomon saw the name of the paint, he was like, oh, Mama, Bob Ross calls that paint out all the time, that blue color. I was like, well, I can't buy that paint. Let's stick to this one. Okay, so I've got my paint wheel together. Oh, Anne's going to send it to us, guys. That's going to be awesome. And I'm going to get to see what Anne's been painting. See, I didn't know this about my friend Anne. She said that she made two paintings on the wrong day. But that's fine. I'm glad you're here with me. Okay, so I don't know how nighttime this is going to look. But I love this pretty blue here. Let's see. Because it's got glitter in it. So, of course, it's going to look nothing like. And I already, I think I said that in the description. I was like, what I do is going to look nothing like the models. And that's fine because I enjoy it. Tell me, enjoy painting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've really got a huge stack of watercolor that I've been playing around with. My friend, she illustrated her children's book in watercolor, and she, I bought it. It was beautiful. I loved how she represented her daughter, Molly. It's called Lenny the Last Lightning Bug. If you guys haven't seen Allison's work, Allison is a dear friend of ours. And I was like, Allie, what are you using as watercolors? And so she took pictures of all of her tools. And I went on Amazon and I got myself a watercolor kit. And I really love, love the watercolors. And I'm going to put some of the darker blue in with this. And I've been playing around with the watercolors for a while. Even the last time we had paint night, that's when I did the picture of the flowers and, and Alexis and Eli were painting on canvases. And I love to paint trees when I do paint. Oh, she sent them through Messenger, and it was her first time using acrylics. So we've got to go and check out Anne's work, guys. Okay, Anne, I'm pulling up the Facebook. Oh, my gosh, now it is telling me I have to log in, right? Please don't make me know what my password is. Of course I use the old password, because how many... So I reset my computer. I'm going to, and of course it cleared out my stuff. So I'm resetting it so I can get in here so I can see Anne's work. I'm so excited, Anne. Was it something for your book? Where was your inspiration from, Anne? Anne is such a talented author. I love reading Anne's work. I went in Madison's room looking for paint. Is she ran out? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Ann, love that. Tish, so you have canvases and no paint? You could go on Pinterest, how to make paint from household items. <laughs> okay, Ann. Oh, Ann. What? Oh, my gosh, y'all. Ann, you need to be having the live paint party. Wait a minute. Okay, guys, I'm about to share my screen. Look at this. Y'all. Those are gorgeous, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. Did you look at did you look at pictures like I do? Did you look at pictures? Did you just draw this from? Tell me your secrets. Love it. Now everybody's gonna be like, Anne, draw us some paintings. We are gonna pay you, Anne. They're gorgeous, Anne. Tish, look at that. See, if we wouldn't have had this paint party. I didn't even know Anne was an artist. Anne, you've been hiding that from us. Let's say what Anne can't do. <laughs> Wait, what were you doing, Tish? Get on there and do some digital art, Tish. Do the digital. I'm sorry y'all didn't have any paint. Well, Ann, you need to be painting. Was it peaceful? Did you enjoy the painting? Because I'm sorry, but I find so much peace in painting. Like, like I just find joy in it. I find joy in something. Use your paint program, Tish. Then you can share it out and you can send it to me. When's the last time you've painted anything? Like, when's the last time you guys have been, like, with a canvas? Like, when's the last time you painted? Two more. Oh, two more. Yeah. I'm about to dip in with some purple mix. Yeah, I love it anyway. Got my mason bowl. Tish, you gonna use Paint Shop Pro? <gasps> and listen, the love of a husband. Well, he has a, a beautiful muse over there. Let him paint you all day. I love that, Ann. You gotta show us some of his stuff one day. Okay, now into to my purple. I was trying to match my book cover um, with the colors. Oh yeah, I love that purple. So it's, I wanted it to be like a brighter purple. Oh, when did you get that? Tish got a new program, y'all. Tish is our tech queen. Tish, I've not heard of that one. When I was having um, that talk last week with the illustrator, and we were talking about programs people were using, I did mention Paint Shop Pro to her, but if you like that one, I can message her, I can text her. Oh, and that just gives y'all an excuse to have paint days together. So I have, as you guys can see, never taken any kind of paint classes ever. Those would be so cool to take. Never took art in high school. I missed it. I took drama in high school three years. Yeah, in my three years so far, I haven't done that either. You need art. You need art. I say it a million times. 
You can get fashion design, man. The fashion one, but you need art. Is that a sparkly right there? It is not, but look at that pretty sparkly blue with the mm -hmm. glitter in it. Yeah, if you need to use it. It's, I didn't know it had glitter in it either until I bought, until I opened it up and poured it in. I was like, oh, that's pretty. It's got glitter. <gasps> and so I want the moon. So Tish has red sweet potato, and there is a part in there where they are up on the rooftops and they're having a conversation with sweet potato and her daddy, and he's having to have some tough conversations with her. And he doesn't want to have around all the kids. So he takes her up to the rooftop and he looks up at the moon with her and he says, I wouldn't um, give you away like the man in the moon wouldn't give away his change. And I just, there's something about when, he, when Eli said that, Sweet Potatoes Daddy. I have always stuck with that quote. The name is Sweet Potatoes Daddy is Eli. Yeah, his name is Eli. And it was before I met your daddy, too. Because I wrote Sweet Potato in 2007. <laughs> you did graphic design. See, see, Ann? Listen, now we know. Because you're doing your own book covers, too, aren't you, Ann? So I'm going to try my best to leave a space for a moon. And it's probably going to look ridiculous, but hey. I bet you love that class. You know, our high school, we have a creative writing class. If I would have had that in high school, oh my gosh. There what are, in the world? There are birds singing, and the sun is down, and they are here to visit us on live. I don't know. I thought I was hearing stuff for a second. <laughs> they're like, they're having a pay party. We want to come in. I can hear them. They're very loud. I don't know if y'all hear the birds chirping, but. Okay, so there's my spot for my weird moon. And then I'm going to come down now and I'm going to do some black down here. Because what I did is I was watching, like I said, those different videos. And she used tons and had like, like a space like this much of black. And she did a fire, like a campfire scene. And I was like... No, I want like a hodgepodge of different stuff. I want that pretty moon that I showed y'all. Oh, you can hear this. You can hear the birds too. They're like right here at the window. <laughs> they can hear them. <laughs> we do have a red bird family. Huh? It looks really good. You want me to show everybody? You want me to show? <laughs> here, pass it here. Yeah, I'll hold it. Oh, this so Alexis is making. You gotta hold it by this so because the rest of it's painted. Yeah, I get paint on me. Oh, we look. There's your cactus. Cat's high. Her cat's high. <laughs> she will show you her after stuff. Oh, so Anne, you're not gonna do yours. Yeah, I'm going to get Tish to make my book cover. Tish is going to help me make my stuff. She's going to help me make my... Um, Tish said you're good. She's good. And I know, Tish. See, I get to paint partners all the time. So... One of my favorite things to do is to go walking. Um, I went to Clemens State Park yesterday, love that place, and we did a, um, they have like a tree trail, it's like an educational forest, and you get to press all the buttons, and you get to learn all about the trees, it was so neat, 
and they have like all of the um, signs up to do tree identification. And so I would love to be able to make short leaf pine with rectangular bark, but that's just way too fancy and out of my league. <laughs> Maybe long leaf pine a little bit better. Yeah, we have an abundance of pine trees. So I definitely want to do the trees. As soon as I saw that Canva image with the trees, I was like, oh, I gotta use that for the background of a lot of my images just because I loved it so. And so does Sweet Potato. And when she's going into Newport News with a trucker, she's like, she's looking at the city and she's like, where's the corn? Where's the trees? Kind of like me. And what I miss. Okay. So now, well, I might take a smaller brush for this part. You got circle like the moon somewhere. I know. I'm letting all that dry, and then I'm going to put the white and green all out. You got circle like the moon side has a little too much. I know. It looks like a weird, weird circle. <laughs> Don't have a lopsided moon. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry up there and hope I can salvage that move. Yeah, like if you paint a little bit more purple on the right side to make it look. Yeah, like, like right there. Side. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm now gonna do like I want my trees to kind of go. I'm going to start with two, and I'm going to see where these trees are going. Then I'm going to use the bigger one. I'm going to see if I can use this bigger one. And kind of go. Kind of like Kind of just go up and around first. Up and down. And then I'm going to fill it in. Kind of make it look like a pine tree. And kind of make it go out some. And I liked the image on Canva because, like, all the trees were done in, like, black. And I'm going to just kind of come in and then I'm going to fill this tree in, kind of make it look a little thicker. And then some of our trees here, they don't start actually pulling out their branches until you know a little but I might go down some on that one. And there's my first tree. And said yours look great. Oh, thanks. Thank you, dear. And then, oh, I have this one more. Let's see, but. Uh, now, I'm going to be talking about Aunt Dot, y'all, forever and a day. But Aunt Dot used to take me on walks all the time. And she would take me to McDonald's, which I know my husband is over there listening. He's one of those I know right now. We can blame it on Aunt Dot. And we would get. 
the Happy Meals, or we would pack up peanut butter, or bologna sandwiches, and then we would go to a nature trail at St. Andrew's College back home, and we would spend a lot of time out there under the trees. And my aunt Dot loves a tree just as much as me, Tish. So I know, I get that. And she used to tell me, if only we could hear this grandfather tree talk, all we could hear this tree. Hey, what would this tree say? Yes, baby. And she, I'm sure she was the one who got me in love with trees. Okay, so Aunt Dot was one of the first people to read Sweet Potato, her and my mama. And then Sweet Potato stayed on my computer from 2007 until 2018, January of 2018. So that lets you know that I did not have the courage or the confidence to to let others read my girl. And now that she's been out there a month, it's just hard to believe that people can have an opportunity to share in her story that I love. Now I'm just crisscrossing and going kind of down in the middle. And there's that tree. Yeah. 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 Okay, so now I gotta figure out my next tree placement. Where do I want my other tree to go? Eli, you can come check out what we're doing. He's coming around the other way. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Yes, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. All right. I want some hot cocoa. Uh, hot cocoa. You want some? No, baby, I'm good. I got my water. Let me see. Tish, you better not be drinking the coffee this late. I am wearing my coffee pajamas. <laughs> Next trees. I have these crisscrossing. These trees are talking to one another. This one is making its way up. And there's that tree. Tish says no coffee this late. Ah, let me, let me leave a message. Jackie. 
Beat the top. I need to fill that one out some more. And then I'm going to do some smaller trees in the middle. Oh, that's so cute. I like the dots. I'm getting a bit of white dots inside of it. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more on each side. So if you guys, oh my, readers out there and all of you guys that are authors out there, think about scenes in your book. Think about characters in your book and things that will represent them. And then you can have your own paint party. And just have some fun. I'm just, I'm chilling. Like, not a piece of stress around me living. And then that one just gonna kind of be thinner. That tree's a little thinner. And I want it to be that way. And that one's kind of, I'm going to go straight up. And so if I think about Elon's sweet potato, and that has to be Belle. If I'm thinking of them in tree form. <laughs> Just Belle would be leaning towards sweet potato. And then that would be May's. And then that's Bane coming to try to meet them in the middle. All right. Now I'm going to see if I can fix this man. Oh, the Fay book will have a million beautiful forest scenes or some type of kingdom. Oh, come on, Anne. Think. And you can go get some elf templates or fang. Who do you have as like, um, it would be so much fun. I'm going to that party. I'm going. Like, I would love probably, I would want to do Elendor from mine. And that's the High Elves Kingdom, maybe. Or I could just do the Forest of Avalie. Because, you know, me and my trees, I might be doing another one. Um. Or bright bush <laughs> it takes place in eastern Pennsylvania. There's got to be something in eastern Pennsylvania, contemporary fantasy, right? You can figure it out. I trust that with your creative talents, you are going to figure it out. And yes, yeah, see, she's already got it, y'all. She's already put it in the comments. Look, she's going to be having a person. Yeah. Now, I can show you guys, this is my favorite watercolor that Amber done. Look, that's Charlie. I love him so much. This Charlie right here makes me very happy, and I was very happy to draw him. That's Samson, the mighty one. This is Barry, named after my best friend. Her last name is Newberry. And of course, oh yes, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. There's my dog. There is Grandmother Cardinal. And then I had to fix Grandmother Cardinal because her wing was wrong. And then now there is Grandmother Cardinal looking all regal. She has some gray. She has some gray here. And this is Chance. Who is a puka, a shapeshifter. And so, yes, I was having fun. This is Chance again. 
and he's a shapeshifter. So this is all of my fun water. I like I have stats of like my watercolor, playing around with watercolor. Yes, see, and I love my Charlie. Think about some things you can do for the Faye, Anne. I know you can. So this morning when I woke up, I needed the right mentor. Uh, and turned in the Faye of Averly, the first 10 pages for the pitch wars. So we'll see if the people that I submitted to might like to take on the Faye of Averly and be my mentor, which would be really cool. And it's so much fun. I told you, I, I have enjoyment out of it. It's not just the, like, I'm not an artist. And you're an artist. So I know this is something that you would love to do. Tish needs to be making Bud the Wiser. That's what Tish needs to be making, her digital cat. <laughs> this, this one's going to be a little thicker. Okay. Yeah, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. But I, I see them in my head so much, I gotta get them out. Now, I can't draw people. Can you draw people? Like, no. The eyeballs, there's no way I can draw someone's eyeball. I can draw one eyeball, <laughs> and I try to draw them. If I could have just a, a one eyed character, I'd be good to go. But no, they ain't working in my life. All right, there are my trees. And now, I think I want to clean this up. And I watched this artist paint. Oh, there's Michelle. Michelle, oh my gosh. You missed Ellen. You missed, okay. Michelle, you gotta see Anne's. Hold on. I'm gonna share my screen. Look at what Anne drew, what she painted. Look at that. Look. So now I'm like, okay, Anne, when are you having a paint party for us? <laughs> Look at that. I hope you got to see that, Michelle. So yeah, think about a scene in your books, Michelle, that you could draw and we could have a paint party. I just have some fun, but no, I'm really not uh, an artist don't claim to be. I think I wrote in the description that it's gonna be messy and not look anything like the model, <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. I know, Michelle. I'm telling you, if we wouldn't have had this tonight, I would not have known that Anne was an artist. I had no clue. I mean, I knew Anne was brilliant, and I knew Anne was an absolute amazing author. I had no clue. I finished the first one. Oh, you want me to show your progress? I finished that. Hey, let's do it, Michelle. We can do crooked stick figures. Figures. Look, there's the next one. Oh, I can't show it. I gotta hide. Can y'all see? <laughs> Tish. Tish said, you drawing trees, I'm drawing weeds. Whatever, Tish. Come on. Draw you some sticks, Tish. And then pop. Just pop that brush on there. <laughs> She said she loves that, Alexis. <laughs> she said thank you if you did not hear her. Okay, so now 
I'm really going to attempt to do this moon, which is going to be. Tish, send it to me. Send it to me for real. I'm going to post it. Tish is going to send it, guys. <laughs> Michelle, what are you painting? What you drawing? And go on and start doodling. Go on and start thinking of your character scenes. I can't wait to see it, Tish. You ladies, y'all make me so happy. I can't even tell you. I love my people. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the glow going around this moon. So, Michelle, this is a scene at the beginning. I know you haven't started Sweet Potato yet, that you're saving it um, for one of your next reads, but at the beginning, this is... Oh, go, Ann. Ann's going to sketch some. This is a scene from the beginning. Now, my granny, she used to tell us stories about how her and my papa, let's see. My granny was 13 and my papa was 20 when they got married. And they were, of course, poor and they would travel and they'd do some farming. And one time they had a house that you could see. You could see through the uh, roof, and they said it was so romantic because you could see the stars now. Listen, that's a way to say it. It might not have been romantic when the rain was going to be coming in there. But my granny used to tell us that story, and I would think about, you know, that's love right there, and that's positive talk. <laughs> And so when I wrote Sweet Potato, they were in a shed with pieces of the tin pulled back to where they could look out and see the stars. And they said that if it wasn't for some of those tin pieces pulled away, that they would have been so burned up hot in that shed. And that was the only kind of little bit of air that they were getting. And then I'm doing my moon to try to give it some texture, like with the gray. And then I want to come back with some of the white. Tish, did you send it to my Facebook? Let me see. Let me go to my messenger. No. You going to show me later, Tish? <laughs> I definitely got to fix up that purple. I already know that. And then I'm going to put some like more of the white. I went back and forth. Oh, Tish is almost finished. Tish is drawing Frank. Frank, go. I can't wait to see it. Y'all, Tish is talented. Don't you let Tish sit here and fool you. Michelle, did you ever take any art classes in school? Found out that Ann was in the digital arts classes in high school. Yeah, with my drama classes, I, I didn't, I'm too shy to act. I'm too shy to do that part. I did like the behind the scenes and the directing. <laughs> and writing the commercials and all that. <laughs> and writing the scene and play, not actually performing. 
You have to. It's key. Healthy looks weird, honestly. Can I do? Did I circle out my moon? Does it look better? Yeah. Okay. We were quite worried about this moon. Yeah, it's not mine either. I just have, so, it just brings me so much joy to paint and draw. I have no talent in it whatsoever. And this is proof that you guys can go to Michael's. I get your painting and journal. Huh? I get one of your Yeah. And journal. You can. I bring down the bird. Oh, she wants to show y'all this bird I drew for her. It's in her room. She's going to get it. Um, I went to Michael's yesterday and bought 79 cent paint and am having fun. Y'all, seriously. Like, in a pack of brushes. And I think I spent like $28 total for us to have our paint party. And I got like seven of these canvases. So y'all know for Halloween, we could do Halloween, but then that means Anne has to do it. <laughs> You're talking about Halloween ideas for the WWJs. Anne can pick us out like a spooky thing and we can all paint. Okay. You really want to show that thing? She's got that one up in her room. So that was the one I did for her. Gosh, I don't know. Did we put a year on it? No. no. We didn't put a year on it. I don't know. Um, what year might be, baby? I don't know, like two years ago. Maybe. She's already got some more ideas of what she wants us to draw. Who? You? You were showing pictures of what you want? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could have us a Halloween paint party. We did that. We did it. Yeah, what did I draw? That's what I drew. That's what you drew. And it wasn't Halloween stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're fine. Oh, okay. Tish just seen it. Oh, I can't wait to see Tish. Let's see. Hopefully my computer. Wait, you sent it. You sent it to Facebook Messenger? You sent my iMessenger. Hold on, that's my computer, ain't it? I mean, that's my phone, ain't it? I got it. Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Look, I love it. <laughs> Your tree's better than mine. Hey, what, guys? Here, I'm gonna try to turn my phone. Look at Tish. Ghost Frankenstein, go Frank. I absolutely love it. Look at Frank. Tish, he is adorable. Look, look at that. And hey, look at Tish's trees. Tish, I like your trees. See, Tish, look at your circle, Tish. My circle looks jacked up. Your circle looks great for yours. <laughs> I love it. Tish, I am keeping this, just so you know. I absolutely love it. <laughs> they are not weeds. They are fancy trees. I say they're fancy. Okay, so I gotta fix this purple up because this purple is weird. And then I'm gonna let that moon dry a little bit and then I'm gonna come back in and do a little bit more detail on the moon. Because I got some yellow. Oh, that's just the one that I think. Where? It looks, like it looks bad. It, I didn't put enough. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Yeah, because look at the black compared to the purple. Then I realized I didn't put enough purple up there. 
So it's bad. That part right there. See? Yeah. I think I was worried about that circle that I was going to have to try to do the circle. But I'm going to make try to make a glow around the moon. So yeah, my purple needs to be way big. Oh no, it's going to drip like the book cover, y'all. Hey, that's actually going to be cool. Where? So let me show you the book cover. So you see it dripping? So I'm going to kind of, I didn't mean to do it. So now i got to drip it. I'm going to drip it. I didn't mean it. That's <laughs> <laughs> where I do not mean it. Oh, and walk those babies. Oh my gosh, look, it started to drip, and I was like, oh, wait, it's dripping like the book carrot. I'll do it. I'm doing it. I am. I'm going to do it. <laughs> look, baby, I actually started putting too much, and it started dripping. And look, oh. look, look at the book. It book drip it's dripping. Oh. So, hey, I'm going with a drip. <laughs> there you go. This is a Jennifer original. Okay, what was she? <laughs> What did Bob Ross used to say? There are no. There, there are no. What are they? Happy accidents. Yeah. <laughs> what well, ain't that? It's quite y'all. Is this something weird, Dad? No, y'all for real. We are drip. We are dripping right now. Let me get some more purple. Gosh, now I gotta get that exact Bob Ross quote. No. We don't make mistakes. So he said, wait a minute. I'm gonna, I gotta find it. Y'all know it. Y'all could probably find it faster than me. We don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. <laughs> That's it. Y'all, we need to write that. See, dripping's cool, said Tish. Tish, I'm starting a new style. We don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. Thank you, Bob Ross. Thank you, Eli. You just brightened my life. You're, you're so awesome. Okay, so now let me look at this book cover. Okay, so I'm actually going to do the drips now. Ha ha. Hilarious. Trust me, that was not planned. Now let me see if I can do some more of them. Just because I had loaded that little section down right there with paint. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob Ross jumped right there. I'm telling you. Yeah, that definitely needed to be thicker. It makes the color a little closer to the book cover, too. Tish, I do love Frank. No joke. So last year when I wrote the Raptor Revolution, you guys could look way back. I mean, I don't post them a lot on Instagram, so you, you don't have to look too far. And you can see where I was drawing characters from the Raptor Revolution last summer. And I, yeah, that one looks good. Um, I was loving doing that, drawing my characters. And then I posted them, and I was like, people are going to say, these are like, what is she doing? And then I was like, oh, people were saying they were, these look good. I was like, yay, I'm not weird. So I actually have Revere, my snake, my Paul Revere. Because, of course, the don't trade on me flag. So I had to have Revere as a snake. He was one of my favorite characters, too, to write. He was fun because I got to make a lot of s's and hear him s s hissing in my head 
And so animals talking is always fun to write. So now that I'm going to do this, I'm, I'm going to try to get some more drip right here. We're going to see if the drip is going to naturally happen. <laughs> see if I can get it to do it. There it goes. It's going to drip. There it's going to drip. Yay. Let me force it down a little bit. Drip on, purple. <laughs> drip. Go. <laughs> There it goes. I'm gonna make it go down a little bit. Cause I don't want it just to be like, even though the book cover kind of has it on one side. It would look weird if you just did it on one side yeah. of the painting. People would think, well, she did make an accident. No, there are no accidents. Only oh, happiness. Happy readings. I like it. I'm going to try to put one more drip there. Just one more. <gasps> now that drip went all the way. <laughs> that one went all the way down. You need to clean that off. I don't want to. I want to leave it. Let's see. I'm scared if I do it, I'm going to smear it. I'm going to mess it up. Dang, that one was a big drill. Okay, now that was something at the window. Yep. Those birds are still out there. Now, I'm going to want to now take and put some, some purple back here and mix it up. Maybe it was meant to be. So, I'm going to get some purple glow back there, y'all. That actually looks pretty. I might do that. I don't know what I'm doing, but that junk looks Don't do it too dark because then it won't swim. Okay. It actually looks kind of cool. Is it feeling that white with the purple? Heck yeah. Eli, yes. I made another mistake and it looks really good. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to rub some of that blue on it too. Blue in the middle, down the middle. Yep, and I'm going to rub some more purple around it. Yeah, purple on the sides and blue in the middle. Yep. Because that's going to bring out the paint of the um, of the book cover. I love my book cover. I can't tell you, like, when, when the publishing company sent it to me, of course, I cried because I was so excited to see it. And then I was like, just kept pulling it up, looking at it. Like, oh my gosh, they look so sweet to tell. You. How did they? How did they do this? Okay, I like it because then it gets like a lighter purple. Like it looks lighter now. I'm going to fill this in just a little bit more behind my trees. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put just a little bit more. I'm just dabbing just a little bit. I know, Michelle. See, Tish is so creative right now. She's making stick ballerinas. What are their names, Tish? Give them a story. Do they know Frank, or are they not a part of Frank's world? <laughs> All right, Michelle, what you drawing over there? 
Are you writing tonight? Oh, Michelle, I love that video about Goodreads. I was on there today. I, will, I finished it. Um, thank you for sharing that one out. I was... I made my RL style event on Goodreads. Because I got to start getting all that stuff together tomorrow. That was going to be fun, y'all. Well, oh my gosh. Tish is drawing me, Anne, and Michelle as stick ballerinas. I can't wait until Anne gets back. She's walking the puppies. If she doesn't get to see it tonight, if we finish before she gets back, we'll, we'll, send, we'll send it to her to WWJ. <laughs> you gotta put, you gotta tell us who we are <laughs> oh there's Anne. she's back and you are you are about to be a stick ballerina in tish's world right now and did you get to see frank here let me show you what tish did ah, i'm so bad at that look there's frank Look at him. He is so cool. Yeah, Michelle, it was. Seriously. <laughs> so, and you and Tish go into the WWJs and look at that Goodreads video because um, it was awesome. And we can tell you more about it later. Frank in the trees. I know. I thought she said they were weeds and they, they were not. They look like really good trees. See? Teach, you just got validated. Anne said the same thing. It wasn't just me. So, Anne, you missed what happened. I wanted to make all of the purple darker because there was like a lot of white space in there. So, when I went to clunk it on there, it actually started to drip. And it was, of course, not planned. And then we looked up the Bob Ross quote. And then look, it's dripping on the earth. See it dripping. So it's now kind of like my book cover, just a little bit. <laughs> then I dropped the big chunk of purple down here. So I used a piece of um, paper towel. And see, and that was a mistake. Well, it ain't a mistake no more. Let's say I meant to do it. And now I am just trying to make my my moon. It's more white. Now it looks more like the colors from my book cover. Hey. I'm good with that. And then I love this. Um, I got some yellow. I was thinking about putting some around it to make the moon kind of glow a little bit. I don't think it'll look like it because the purple. Mm -hmm. Probably won't. I, think I might leave it. Good like that. Yeah, I might leave it. There was this one, one oh, this one I saw, and they used Q tips to draw wisteria trees. Oh my God, the vines coming off of a tree. Y'all. I love Wisteria. It has nothing to do with this book, though. The Morning Glories have something to do with this book, if I was to ever draw. In May, she said he would look like Cactus Jack, and she's over there drawing cacti. Um, there's a part in the book where she's talking about, why did they, why did Mama name us this? And then she was thinking of names that she would have named the kids. And it was definitely not. Um, Bean. Bean was Cabbage Jack. Is it a No, it looks adorable. Should I fill this one? I don't know. I would leave it. You know why? Because the other lighter green one doesn't have as many prickles as the other darker green ones. Okay. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. I really love this um, this glitter stuff.
I didn't even know I bought glitter. I bet you this mess wasn't saving on sale. I bet you that was a little bit more. Maybe it was. You know how you go to the stores and then the colors are all over the place? <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious, Michelle. People would be like, can I send you the painting back? <laughs> that do do the dark blue. No, you, don't, you want me to do the dark blue? Yeah, because if you did some more sparkles in the middle, then that's going to look weird. I was going to make them darker. You see right there? You think I should make them darker? No, I'm saying in the middle, do dark blue. Oh, right down there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Michelle, they would be like, uh, and she paid postage to send me this to my house? <laughs> oh. That would be hilarious. What I would love it if his kids would draw and send me things, and then I could post it up. I already got a ghoul school um, little video. It's so cute, y'all. And I got a Brinkley video. I'm wondering if I can get some drip going down here. Maybe that's a little drip. I like the glitter though. She's going to show her final painting. Oh, is this the ballerina? Uh oh. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Tish, you can sell it. Look. Look at that. Tish, you can sell that. Tish, how much would you charge? I get a free one. It's mine. I already have it. Love it. The great. <laughs> Famous. I know. Okay, now you have to tell us. I know, Ann. I'm telling you. I'm going to send it to y'all. And you did that in, um, you did that in Procreate? Ann, I'm sending that. Oh. This one's me, guys. I'm wearing purple. And then we have red. And then, like, a magenta-type color. Who is in the red? Is that Anne or Michelle? What? Is that we getting who is who? We'll see. I'm five foot two, so I, so we got to see how tall Michelle and Ann are. <laughs> yep, little Ann. Michelle, you're on the end. Ann, you're in red. That's you, Michelle. Love it. I love it. <laughs> and it's 5'4". My mom was 5'4". Let's see. Michelle's got to tell us. Yes. Tish, you have to go in as an artist and sign. You must teach. Michelle, you tall. Oh my gosh. Teach. Michelle. 
My daddy was five six, Tish. Somebody wore the big old cowboy boots with the big spurs on the back. He had to get with some height, I think. That's what he was. <laughs> he loved his cowboy boots. Michelle. You got to show them your final part of it. Oh. Did you put it upstairs? No. Oh, okay. Dag Tish. Oh, you need to be that thing. Look, guys. Oh, I can't. Look. That's adorable. I love it. You didn't sign it either. Michelle said you have to show it, sign it. Put your name on it. She's gonna wait for the dry. I'm gonna do it in this one. Oh, cute. I don't mind being five two. Thank you. I think I'll Michelle. <laughs> That's funny. And then I'm going to put some dark down in here. Kind of make it darker with that glitter because it's too light. It's too bright for the night sky. And then I'm going to rub it with the paper towel. See if I can get it to. Make it look like glitter down here. Which I should have done for start. And if I was an artist, I probably would have done those things. I was just so excited. I was like, oh, it's pretty, it's clear. I wasn't thinking about one. I didn't go down far enough. With the glitter. I'm fixing it now. That's what matters. I'll tell her, Tish. I'll tell her when she comes back in. So, sweet potato is six foot tall, Michelle. And you know, Jordan Sparks, she was my inspiration. Jordan Sparks is really tall. Let me see how tall Jordan Sparks is. I am looking up Jordan Sparks' height. She's 5'10. Yeah, Jordan Sparks is 5'10. I made sweet potato right at six feet. And at work, um, he, he's six foot two. He's right up like so. He's only a couple of inches shorter than her. And at work, I have a sweet teacher friend. She is an amazing teacher. She is six foot tall. And every time, y'all, when I see her, I think about sweet potato. Because I'm like, that would be like, so when I'm, so I'm, you know, five two, I'm standing beside my English teacher friend who is six feet tall. And I look up and I say, if sweet potato was real, sweet potato was right here, she would be this six foot tall beauty, beauty. So yeah, sweet potato is tall. Hey, honey, you taking pictures? I think she wanted to take a picture, but she's going on. Okay. And I'm just feeling in. Yeah. Oh. 
And I can see Belle growing up in my mind, but I don't think she's going to be as tall as Sweet Potatoes. Mm -hmm. But that's why Mays always wanted to play basketball with her, because they would be like, Sweet Potato, come and dunk with us. And there was one part where she was just like, I do not want them hanging on me. I want to read my poetry. And have some peace in her touching Belle's converse. I don't know if you remember that part, Tish. She could feel Belle's converse beside her. She'd kind of hit it every now and then. And Belle was beside her. And then she had her poetry book. And there was a poem in there, Kissing Trees. And that was for Eli. I actually added that one in later. when I was doing the edits. And then I think I'm going to do some glitter all the way down. And then I'm going to leave that white down there. I don't know, you guys might not be able to see it as good with the camera. I don't know. Let me see if I can take it off. See if you can see that glitter. It's glitter. I can't really see it. Um, can't really see it like perfect, but I also wanted to do a park bench for sweet potato and teach. Since you've read it, you know that's the place where she sat with Ray on a park beach under the street lamp between the soul food restaurant and the homeless shelter. And if there's a place there where I could just see them under that street light. And it's either by the light of the moon when there's a revelation, there's a street lamp. There's that, that symbolism, like, um, holds really strong with me. And so I, I was looking for that. I was like, maybe I could draw that. And then I kept looking at park benches. And I kept, and then I was like, no, I just love that part where he said, I wouldn't give you away like the man, moon wouldn't give away his change. And I knew I needed you to do, um, I needed to do that one. All right, Eli, I heard you yawning. You can make me start yawning. Can't be having that. We're having a pay party. <laughs> Would you add any more color down there, Eli, or would you leave that white space there in the middle? No, I wouldn't like it. You no. would leave the white there, or would you carry it all the way down? You could uh, lighten it up. Do the, the... The lightest one? The, yeah, I would leave it the same color. What are you, what are you trying to do with the middle? That's what I'm saying, like right there. So would you, you do purple? If you do purple, make it lighter. Make it so lighter It almost that? looks white, but it's but still purple. Oh, that sounds like I would have to know a fancy technique. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fancy, baby. Make it lighter. Make, I could mix some light in it, can I? Yeah, right in that part. Mix it up a little light. And I can make it a different color. I was sitting there rubbing that mess with a, with a napkin. I think I'm going to stop there. I'm going to put the purple all at the bottom. Purple is my favorite color. And then I would go with like red, but purple was my favorite. And when I was growing up, I was a teenager and my parents were going to let me redo my room. And of course I said, Daddy, I want a purple room. And my daddy painted that room purple, the fireplace and everything. And it was hilarious looking back and knowing that I had a purple room. Um, 
I sure he did. Trim wire, all of it. Mama made me the curtains and the bedspread. She can sew. So purple has always kind of been my color. All right, so now I'm going to mix in some purple and some white. And I'm going to finish up the bottom of this. So, Ann, there you go. She might have that manipulation. She might be trying to manipulate you into thinking, oh, I want to see her. I want to see that when you're done. Oh, I might have just dropped way too much. I'm trying to blend and make this like lavender, and I might have actually put way too much white. So I'm mixing in, making, oh yeah, it's lighter. Okay. I absolutely love drawing my characters though. Um, I got on and I was looking at some YouTube videos and watching how they drew an elf and it was a dark elf and it was gorgeous and i was like well i could try to do that for more doom because he's my villain in the fave Avery. and um and then i was just like no i would mess his eyes up I just knew I would. Because unless I could get like someone with like a side view. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to um, go back to black on this tree because I just kind of went over the tree. So it was purple. I'm trying to fill this in. I didn't like the way it looked with the white. I'm now going to fill it in. And then I'm going to rub it with the towel and try to fix that. So that way, and then it has the darker purple on the top, and I'm going to get the lavender on the bottom. Yeah, I think it's fun to do any kind of character sketches. So, like, because I can't draw people, I will go to Pinterest and I'll make boards. So, I, I know you guys love Pinterest. I know Michelle loves Pinterest and Tisha's got her board. Like, y'all know how much I love doing that, too. And I'll find people. Tisha has got hers um, for Deck of Secrets. Tish, is that what you're still gonna name your book? No, I know it. Flip flops, tarot cards, and murder. That's it, hey, Tish. I love it. I was telling one of my friends who likes to read Cozy Beast Story that you were almost finished with it. And um, I told her that was what you were thinking of. And she's like, oh my gosh, I hope it has a flip flop on the cover. <laughs> I would love it. So Tish is our Cozy Mystery writer. Anne is our fantasy. And Michelle is our romance. Okay, I just got a ding on my phone. I saw it light up, and it's from Michelle. Let's see what we got. Let's see. <laughs> oh my God, Michelle, I look crazy. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> There's jail. Love it. I can use them, even though I look weird. <laughs> Y'all see, I put no makeup on. What? No paint for this paint party. No face paint. <laughs> Okay, so now, oh, I want to rub those, that stuff out a little bit. Like I did. You know, just rub some of that purple. Yeah, I like that. Into there. And then I'm going to go back with the black. <laughs> hey, you tried. Thank you for that. And Michelle, I thought you were sending me your drawings. Yeah, there used to be a time when I would not go out of the house without my paint. Now, I did, I did dress up and put on makeup when me and Eli went out for our anniversary Friday night. We got our fifth anniversary on Friday, which was yesterday. Makes it sound like it was so long ago. And funny thing, Tish knows that um, I don't want to give it away. I can't give that part away. But that street lamp, I just will say. Um, he like kissed me for the first time on a street lane. I will tell Aster. He's not listening. He's right around the corner. He's probably not listening. Look, I'm saying he's reading Vince Flynn book. His favorite author. And I'm just gonna fix the tree. That I kind of cut down a little bit. Yeah, there's so many parts about sweet potato I love. There's another one of my other favorite scenes is when they go to a music festival at Newport News, and it's a jazz festival. And they're walking out on a dock. And the symbolism of that light are, is the fireworks. Um, and I'm sure that um, when people read Sweet Potato, and they, they probably won't even notice the, that those little small things about that story. And I didn't notice it either because I'm a pantser. When I was writing Sweet Potato, I just wrote it straight from my heart from beginning, middle, to the end, cried my eyes out. Tons at the end, had no clue what was happening. And then when you look back and then you go, oh, if you don't get it, even as an author, until you're reading it back through and it's in its final edits and you have it. And you're like, okay, so that happened under the moon. That happened under the moon and the stars of the city. That happened under a light. That happened, you know, and you just can keep doing. That happened under fireworks. You keep doing that, and then you go, those parts about the light, and then the sunshine, too. I thought about drawing the sun um, to honor Miss Sunshine. Um, she's one of my all-time favorite characters to write. She's my Queen Latifah in the book, and... I just hope that one day I can give back in the same way that's, that Miss Sunshine gave back to that family. 
Well, there are one of my trees. And I have a big and look. And that drip, y'all, I am serious. That drip is hilarious. Look. <laughs> and the colors, like, instead of it being blue on the side, I did a little bit of blue, but then I finished it off with the purple. Like, I put the purple all down here. I know it's kind of like. Anne's made her evil. Okay, show me that antagonist. Are you ready to share? Are you working on it? You want to show it to us later. Can't wait to see it. Michelle, I'm glad you're getting some writing done tonight and you got to hang out with us too. I, it's almost like I still want to go in and get that um, a couple of those light, there's like some light spots like right there. Ooh. What are you using, Anne? Are you using watercolor, pencil, charcoal, acrylic? Have you guys ever um, done one of these paint parties? Have you ever had a paint? I've never went to one like in a, in a place, like in a, a business. Oh, nice, Anne. Like they have like the paint and sip parties and, and all that. I've never done one of those. We had one here and the family came over and we drew the Halloween ones, but I did that bird. I was like, that's hilarious. I could have done the Halloween one. My favorite time. Maybe it was just she asked me to do bird. That's probably what it was. So if y'all didn't know this about me, Halloween was my favorite season. And we usually go really big and have a huge haunted house in our yard. Like with a maze and it's huge. And last year we had a hurricane in the morning. Uh, the week of that day of Halloween, so we did not put up everything. And then this year we're not going to be able because of the coronavirus. And so that's why I was like, okay, what can I do and still get to dress up? I was thinking, um, Tish, I messaged you today and said I might be a witch for our dress up. Um, I hope you guys get to do that with us. It's just going to be fun. We're just going to be doing a ride in and in our Halloween costumes. <laughs> Why not? Me and Tish talked about it in the boot camp the other day, and I was like, oh, yeah, Tish. And I have so many costumes, I can't even tell y'all. I do not want to be like, I have like a crack doll face and I have a whole outfit. But I was thinking about being a witch for one of my characters in my new story, my middle grades. I thought about that. Okay. And then I'm just putting up, because where I see is like, Tish is drawing her MC. Are you drawing for Boo or are you drawing for flip flops, tarot cards, and mud? Which one, Tish? <gasps> you do? Oh, you drawing Bay? Do it, Tish. And I cannot wait to finish reading it. You only gave me like a little snippet and then you snatched it from me. 
in my life. You know, I love your writing. Can't wait to read it. And so, in my MG, the, um, mine is an early reader MG. It's more for fourth grade. And they're getting ready to go into sixth grade. And that's when they get separated from their elementary school. And then they move into middle school. And then the witches have to go to the rich school. Then the Frankensteins and all of the creations. All of the monsters have to go to a school, which has the toughest football team around, by the way. And then the vampires have to go to their own school. But they, they're best friends, and they don't want to get separated, and they feel like they could work better together than to be in a park. But the town is set in their ways, and they say, no, it's better if you stay in your own lane, and you only stay with your kind. But the kids don't see it that way. So while they are trying to come up with a bad to the bone plan, because that's their little club, while they're trying to come up with a plan, they run into a dilemma and they have to solve it. And the town understands that it took the three of them together to solve the problem. I'm telling you the whole book. And, um, so that's the premise behind Bad to the Bottom. And I've really worked hard on that one. Um, I think it is a must read for today. I love it so much. I pretty much just told you the premise of uh, Bad to the Bottom. It started out as like a like my goal school series like for second and third graders and then it went older and longer and more developed and it ended up I was like okay this is not how i started this book <laughs> i think you guys actually i put it up in the wwjs a long time ago y'all got to see like the first draft and oh my gosh it's like four thousand words now it was very short. It was like a, a easy reader chapter book where it would have been for Magic Treehouse second and third grade. Now it's uh, early MG. So it, it moved on up and it developed and changed over time. I did not try to pitch that one though um, because I'm not ready with that one. That one has not went through its final edits and that one has not had my, a beta team or my Dog. The ink dog has not read it. So that one was not ready for me to ask for a mentor would like to pitch that one. But the Fave of Averly has went through all those stages and I've done five edits, reviews. It's as good as it's going to get from my end. <laughs> so that's the one. Did you do that again this time, Anne? I put it up on, I know you knew about it though the pitch wars. I turned my application in this morning. There's still time. And somebody, someone was looking for a retailing. So if you have your Hansel and Gretel done, I know that was, I saw that today, the retailing. Man, that stuff looks wicked up there. The way that that's all blocked up in there in the sky. <laughs> How's it coming, Tish? How's old Bay doing? I love her name, Bay Boss. Yeah, my bad to the bone wasn't ready either. It's going to be ready in 2021, but not this year. Because I'm about to work on a countdown to Christmas, my holiday romance, my book two in a magical Christmas ring. So I know that I'm, I want to devote my time to that, not to do edits right now. I didn't want to do edits alone. Oh, back to the bone. Working on some 
some other stuff. I was really thinking about it too. Like if I got that book done or nano, I'll put out a magical Christmas wedding October the 26th. That was when I released it. Um, book one last year. All right, I think it is looking good. It looks so weird the way um, the light is hitting it for you guys. It's kind of weird right there. I'm going to try to make it like a little thicker in here. I have loved this. I have so enjoyed this. Thank you, guys. I mean, y'all are ready to have y'all's paint parties. Y'all can make your events on Facebook, Eventbrite, share it all out there with the world. It will be on your channel. And if you guys have an artist friend, Y'all could have your artist friend lead it like in a party for you and y'all can both be on screen too. So that's an idea, Michelle. I just knew I didn't mind getting on here with all of my imperfections and just painting and having fun. With my glitter, glitter paint makes everything fun. <laughs> That was a happy accident, too. Because I really didn't know I was buying glitter paint until I poured it out onto the thing. He's not laughing at me. He's laughing at his book. I know he is. Something funny about me in the book? <laughs> love him. I love when he does that. <laughs> I'll be sitting with him and just laugh out loud. And I'll be going, oh, that's my baby. And then sometimes he'll read it, read what's funny to you. Okay, guys. Y'all, I have enjoyed our night. I'm still thinking about what Michelle said. Oh, you can see that, like, I look, they can get the. The Jinlari original. I was like, no. But be like, she paid postage? She sent it? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Michelle would love. I love how Michelle set the reveal up, man. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Look, she did her book cover. Look. Can you guys see it? Tish, look. She's like, my arms are wide open. Look. Look at his heart. Look at that. And there's her title. Oh gosh, it's Setsy Elijah's Heart. I absolutely love it. Y'all go on Goodreads, mark it to read because Michelle is 
going to be releasing and accepting Elijah's heart soon. Love it. See? Except in Elijah's heart. Super cute, said Anne. I'm telling you. So, Michelle, you get to put this on Instagram and on Twitter. <laughs> we'll see how bold. Oh, Anne. Okay. So, if it's on my Facebook, I can pull it up. Oh, <gasps> you just did that. Are you serious? Ann. Ann, did you just do that? Ann, tell us right now, did you just draw that? For real? Ann, no, seriously, did you just do that with color pencils like while we were sitting here right now? I cannot wait to show y'all. Ann, really, did you just draw that like right now with us? Oh my gosh, y'all. I am sharing my screen just now. Look at you, Anne. Look at you. Let us find out. Look. Y'all. That is amazing. Tell us something about her, Anne. Just one thing. Wow, Anne. What? Okay, show you got look at that. <gasps> Love it. Y'all. Clap, snap, or Ann. I love it too. Ann. Okay, you gotta say that. And you're going to be sharing that out on all your stuff. I've already flipped back to it. Love it. Okay. That's why a while ago you said, she might be a little bit too nice. So I need to fix this up. <laughs> Love it, Ed. Love it. <laughs> Let's just steal their beauty and skin them alive. Why not? That's, that's that's some character traits right there. That's some actions that we're going to uh, hate. <laughs> that character. Wow. Fancy work. All of you guys. From Tish. Okay, I got it. Um, we're going to showcase everybody's work again. You guys have made my night. So we started with our we started with our showcase. Here I'm gonna share. I wanna go back and I'm gonna show Anne's. I'm getting Anne's first one, first paintings. Ah. Oh. Well, so we were first, we first saw Anne's work that she just painted. Love the beach. My favorite beach is Huntington Beach State Park. I actually, when I wrote Bridges, I actually wrote it set in Merle's Inlet. So the whole trilogy is Merle's Inlet or Scotland, because it is a time travel romance. And that one is my beach book. Loved writing that one at Mars Inlet and Polly's Island. Love it, Anne. So see, we could just do book. Let's just do tons of these paint parties and we could do them for like every single book in the world. That we write. Okay, and then we went to Tish's Frank. We have to showcase Frank again. Thank you for sending me Frank. Tish, I'm going to keep it forever. 
Vian Tish did. Okay, so purple, that's me, that's Anne, and that's Michelle. I love this one so much. Like, seriously. Tish, can I share this one out? This one, the ballerinas. And then Michelle's book cover, Inspiration. This is accepting Elijah's heart. Absolutely love it. Love it. You can tell she's really stylish. <laughs> I am teased. I'm sharing it. And then we're going to close it out with Anne's tonight, which we can say, oh, that was something that I sent Anne. Hold on, Anne, where did it go? Oh, here. I had sent Anne the inside of my favorite hourly book. I didn't mean to show that one. Where did, oh, there it is, down at the bottom. Okay. Look at that. You evil thing that steals beauty and skins people alive. You troll. <laughs> Love it. Yes, this is fun, Anne. I have truly enjoyed my night and my happy accidents painting. And here, maybe I can zoom in better. Maybe it's the lighting. Maybe you can see that it's not as light. I really like, I'm going to show y'all what parts I like. How when I made the, the mistake and it dripped over here, and then I had to start like fading it out. And so everything is still really wet, but that's our glitter paint. And then, of course, look how like gloppy I did it. And then my moon. And so my trees, I think, are my favorite part. And there is for my book, Sweet Potato Jones. And it was so wonderful hanging out with you guys tonight. Thank you all for just spending this time with me. I know. Happy accidents all around, Michelle. I didn't know I bought it. Like, I literally was just like, like, it was like sitting up, and it was like, yeah, and I bet, let me see. Because I told y'all all my paint was 79 cents at Michael's. And I get my teacher discount. So that's probably, yep. That was probably the $1.79. I spent $1.79 on that include your paint. <laughs> and then some paint that I bought, which is hilarious. I didn't know. It says outdoor paint. I don't know what I bought, but something rang up. Oh, I bought outdoor paint. <laughs> I didn't even open that one. That one was $1.35. Hilarious. But I get um, a great discount at Michael's. I love going to Michael's. And I got the canvases for $10.99. And I got like, how many was in that? I got seven canvases for $10. So that was cool. Yeah. And I spent seven dollars for my pack of um, brushes. I didn't have the, I didn't have any coupons, and I had, I didn't even go to my um, email. But I've signed up for the My Michaels Rewards, and uh, I probably could have went right to my email, and I didn't. I just used my teacher discount. But I get the coupons. If you guys um, haven't signed up for Michaels, y'all should sign up because. They've got all kinds of fun craft things that you could do for your books, like 
next month we're going to be making jewelry and that is something that I can send to people, Michelle, because I taught myself how to make necklaces. I know, and I didn't, even, I didn't even think about the coupon. See, where were you at yesterday? <laughs> but um, with all of that, and then the only other thing I bought was Halloween baking cups. So when we made our cornbread, we could have them in the muffin tins with spider webs and stuff on it. So we make them. Um, or Eli's makes plenty cornbread. He makes the best cornbread. So yeah, I make, so for sweet potato, I created a sweet potato line that has the Bible, the Bible verses. I don't want to give them all away, but they're from the book and they mean something to each character. And so if you go on Etsy, I actually have a menu from the sweet potato restaurant that she works at called Soul Food Restaurant. And so it looks like a menu and you can order Miss Sunshines, you can order sweet potatoes or Bale's particular line of their Bible verse jewelry. Um, Pooja bought one and then she bought one for all of her sisters in India and sent them to her sisters, which was so sweet. But yeah, we're going to have a Bible uh, verse jewelry party next month. I already had that one set up for a while. I had it on Eventbrite and on um, Facebook. But I don't think anybody would want my drip painting. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't made a necklace in so long. I might say, wait. But, but I love it. One day, talking about um, improving and learning and doing new things all the time i do want to teach myself how to sew and i bought my husband a sewing machine he's got a really nice sewing machine now that um, i want to actually use one day my mom sewed curtains and comforters and pillows and she would change the whole entire house out i told you michelle the other night at christmas time the curtains that she made, all the country curtains would come down, and the Christmas curtains would go up. Like, serious uh, sewing. She made clothes. She made my prom dresses. Um, so, I would love to learn how to sew. And that's one thing that when I retire, I want to take sewing classes and teach myself how to sew. Do you guys have, like, a thing that y'all want to learn how to do that's crafty? And I think I just like to play around with paint and watercolor. Like, like that's something like for future for me. It's on my bucket list, actually, is to learn how to sew. And I think that the painting for the book covers, like I would have loved to have been able to paint sweet potato, but yeah, I would love to know how to do that, Michelle. Like Eli can like Eli him my pants and he can fix buttons and he can sew and um, that's something I want to learn how to do. And I would make 1950s dresses. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. I would get me some patterns for some 1950s dresses. I'd be rocking that mess. Miss my mom used to make her own dresses and I would love to do that. Well, all right, guys, I love y'all, and I am closing out, and you guys, I know if you don't have a copy of Sweet Potato, I know T stores, Michelle, if you and Ann do not have a copy of Sweet Potato Jones, you better let me know, because I will be able to get off of here, and I will send you an ebook. Of sweet potato and get it sent to you as a gift for coming to your party tonight. So if you don't have your copy yet, all right, Ann, that's what to say. I'm sending it to you. Oh, I know. Michelle, you could do it. Oh, Love, thank you guys for supporting me. 
love. Do you know what I thought that was? Because I looked down at it really fast, Michelle. I actually thought that that was something in the background from <laughs> Stream Yard. <laughs> yes, Anne. Anne, you need to lead us in a paint party. We're going to put Anne to work. Anne, Halloween's coming up. I'm serious. You need to be taking the lead. It'll be so much fun. Ta, see, I put Anne to work. Yeah, loved it, guys. All right, I hope y'all have a nice one. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. <laughs> if you don't want to, Anne, then you can just come hang out with me and I'll do one another one for Halloween for us then if you want to. <laughs> I won't force you. I won't be that, that villain. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>